In this video, we will give you complete information about how to scan a file using the HP ScanFlow N700 SNW1 USB scanner. We'll explain which settings to use for scanning, what a searchable PDF is, and how to save it properly. Make sure to watch the video till the end and don't skip any part, so you don't miss any important options. Hello friends! First, we will search for the HP ScanFlow N700 SNW1 USB scanner driver on Google. After searching, we will go to the official HP website. Then, we will download it and install it step by step. After installation, we will open the setup. Once the setup is open, we will explore all the settings inside. So make sure to watch till the end of the video. First of all, we will open the HP desktop shortcut called HP Scan Premium. Then, we'll go to the Scan to PDF option. Inside that, we'll walk through all the settings step by step. We'll start by selecting Document. Then, under Paper Type, you'll find four options, one side front, one side back, two side book, and two side tablet. Choose the one that fits your needs. Next is Paper Size. For resolution, the minimum is 75 dpi and the maximum is 600 dpi. We'll select 300 dpi as a balanced choice, good quality without making the file size too large. Then comes image color mode. You can choose from color, grayscale, black and white, or auto detect color, it's totally up to you. In multi-streaming, you'll see several options like one by one and more, depending on your requirements. In file type, you'll find three main options. Normal PDF. Searchable PDF, where the content can be searched. PDF A, used for long-term document storage. After that, we move to the Scan Options section. As we selected earlier document, 300 dpi, double-sided, it will automatically process the pages accordingly. If you have multiple pages and no fixed ratio, you can choose from available custom settings as well. In the next section under PDF Options, you'll find Scan on Right. Then comes Output Settings, and Paper Orientation, choose Portrait, Landscape, or Auto based on your document. Now comes Data Transfer. You'll find High to Low and Low to High options. When you start scanning, the system will auto-adjust the settings based on the selected resolution. If you want to merge pages, there are options like Front on Left, Front Off, Front Driver, or Front Bottom. There's also a Misfeed Detection option which shows if there are any scanning errors. Under the Image tab, you'll again see multi-streaming scan settings. You can select the resolution scientifically or based on color, for example, pink for color, gray for grayscale. I usually keep the variation level at 7 to maintain proper resolution and clarity. Next is Brightness, it can be set to Auto, so the software adjusts based on paper color. There's also a color dropout feature to remove dots, marks, or stains on the paper. If there are unwanted symbols or colored marks, those can also be removed during scanning. Then comes the digital stamp option. If you want to add a digital stamp, that can be enabled here too. Now, let's go into the document section. You'll find an option to separate documents based on blank pages. If there are any front or back blank pages, they can be automatically removed. To make this feature work better, keep the resolution between 70 to 85 dpi. The higher the resolution, the better the blank page detection. There are many options available here, like detecting all blank pages and fine-tuning how blank pages are recognized. You can also password protect your PDF. Inside the PDF settings, there are document permissions as well. You can set whether printing is allowed or not. If printing is allowed, you can choose between full printing or limited options. You can also set different security levels as per your requirement. After setting everything, click OK. Without setting a password, users won't be able to view or change the rights within the PDF. To add permissions or restrictions, setting a password is mandatory. Next, we click on Done. After that, there's a section called Metadata. Here, you can enter information like the title, author, subject, and keywords. If you want to fill it out, you can type directly, like I've just typed type here as an example. If you don't want to include metadata, you can simply remove it from the list. Once done, click OK. 
All these settings can be saved under a profile either with your company's name or any custom profile name. That way, you won't have to configure these settings every time. Just select the saved profile whenever needed. Once you create and save your profile, you can open it anytime. As you can see here, I've created a profile named HP Scan Mahesh. By opening this profile, you can access and customize all the related settings, like scan to PDF, scan to image, and other options, all within a single profile. This way, you won't have to set everything up again each time. Once all settings are configured, just save them under a profile name. If you ever need to make changes, you can go back into the same profile and edit the settings as needed. This saves time and ensures consistency in your scans. Whenever you need to scan, just select your profile and begin scanning your documents right away. You can also create multiple profiles if needed for different scanning needs or team members. If you face any problems while following this video, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to help you out remotely or suggest another solution. If you face any problems while following this video, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to help you out remotely or suggest another solution. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. And if you're facing similar issues or have any other topics you'd like help with, let me know in the comments, I'd be happy to make a tutorial on that too. Thank you for watching.